Hey, yo, what's going on everybody? Servo here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at your submissions over in my Discord for the new week's Dream Snaps, which is Wally's Garden. And I'm also going to give you a little sneak peek of the behind the scenes of my submission. I got to say, this is probably one of my favorite submissions that I've actually done. We got completely robbed last week with only 300 Moonstones, which is actually insane so my goal was to make a dream snap that i know without a doubt is going to get at least a very a very decent ranking so that was what i set out to do you guys let me know if i achieved it but if you guys do enjoy this video please be sure hit that like button subscribe to the channel and let's get started so just a quick little um behind the scenes look this is the setup i had so i had wally's house here in the background i wanted to make a long like little tunnel with some trees now i don't have my mushroom houses with me but i did have a mushroom house here and here just for some background and then across the bridge here i took my picture right about here and this was the angle of the shot so i did wanted to create a little bit of depth with my photo so that's why i placed wally's actual house way in the back and then uh, i just tried to get the angle so i do have wally's garden here i gotta say this week wasn't that bad at first i wasn't sure if i really liked it and i did spend quite a few hours getting this just the way i want but i think it turned out pretty good and um, i really enjoyed it a couple items you could definitely put down if you're struggling is you could use the little bathtub right here you can slap on wally's boot Hay bales are good for it. Just any of these little shrubs and stuff. You have the well of uh, the garden, of course. You have, like, the, um, the birdhouse, his little rusted bench. Pretty much any of Wally's items look really well. And then just slap some trees. So I recommend if you're struggling with this week, since this is already framed into, like, a rectangle, just go find a small area in the valley, like a corner, and take a pretty up-close picture. Because, like, even something like this... It's it already has a full picture and then you could just slap some trees behind it and I, I think you'll be set now of course this is not a decor challenge it is an outfit challenge of course so make sure that is the most important thing and make sure your character is fully seen so the tags were green one hat and delicate and suggested is brown and calm we got four days left and an outfit challenge of course so this is my submission here I think it's pretty beautiful I know I keep having Eric bowing in my photos. It just happened that way, okay? I promise I didn't mean to get it. He just happened to walk by and bow whenever I was going to snap the picture. So I just went with it because I think it looks pretty good and it balances out the photo pretty well because we have Wally over here. We have me in the middle and then Eric over here. Actually, if Eric wasn't there, this whole side just looked kind of weird to me. So he kind of framed it out perfectly. And then I have the little bathtub here, the boot. I made a little path with some uh, money pathing here going to the well. I try to create a little bit of depth, not too much. The trees, you do see the mushroom houses back here. And then we have the uh, bird. And I just wanted to flex that because I'm going to be honest, I have finally just got like my first uh, sunbird over the past like two weeks. So he's going to be in my dream snaps for a little bit. And then Wally, of course, is really cute. And then I used another one of these little terraces to frame the right side of it. But this is my photo. But I think this is very beautiful. It's very vibrant. And I think we're going to do okay this week. But we'll have to see. And then the outfit I did. The outfit isn't completely max tags, which I think is a huge portion of it. So uh, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. I think I have like... For the tags like six out of three and then like eight out of three on another one so uh, i have seen people that can get up to 12 of each item so we'll have to see so i'm in the mid range when it comes to tags but this is the outfit i haven't really seen anyone else do this kind of outfit so we'll have to see how it does but that's my submission let's go take a look at your guys's submissions Alrighty, and we are not going over which pictures are the best or anything i'm just going to be randomly selecting some photos out of here doesn't mean any of them are better than the other ones doesn't mean they're worse than the others at all like i'm just going to be picking some random photos here because there are hundreds in this discord our discord has grown to over four thousand now and it is that we get a lot of submissions over here. It's a very active discord. So I cannot get through everybody's even though I try to. So I try to space it out with streams, videos and things like that. But we are going to select a few of these. All right. So we have Reverie Abree here and they have a really nice photo. What I like about this is they framed it in an interesting way. That's actually really cool. So there's like if you were to draw a line here 
and the here it's almost like a triangle so the focus is on the outfit and on the character completely and their outfits really cute too it's um yeah it's actually a really really nice outfit and then they have a lot going on here with the bushes the little cactus all the uh the plants and stuff we have wally up here which you do want to have wally in your picture and then they have like the garden in the back and then there's more garden stuff here and it's just a really beautiful picture oh my gosh the little like porta potty the outhouse thing is i said porta potty the little outhouse is actually perfect for this and they even included wally's house so this is a really nice one and the tags i would say are probably close to mine probably on the medium to slightly higher side so I think they're going to place very, very well. And then you can clearly see, like, there's just so much focus on your character. And then you can look around at all the other stuff. Okay, this looks cool. We have Brooke here. If you can't get rid of the clouds, at least you can dance with it. You make more clouds yourself. What? What is that? How did they end up doing that? So they did, like, a space garden. They have all the clouds back here. So they have, like, a little, like, space garden here. We have Wally with all of his trash and, uh these like little robots here this is a very interesting garden and the outfit is very cool i'm curious like the background is so cool i'm curious how many people are gonna uh vote for it based on the outfit or based on the whole background but i'm in love with this photo i gotta find how they did though let's see what the comments says uh nobody really knows if you guys know let me know is this just like one of the whimsical is that the whimsical pets i think it is maybe but that's just too cool Oh, wow, we got Enigma here, and they have, like, one of the most interesting angles I think I've ever seen for this Dream Snap photo. We have Eric back here. You have a few characters. Their character, even though it is an outfit challenge, it's not the main focus Wally is, but it's also the whole theme is Wally's garden, right? So it is an outfit challenge for us, but I love that they put the spotlight on Wally, and he's like really up close, which is really cool. And then he's like marveling at his garden. And then our character is just over here. Just uh, it looks like they're just planting some crops. Got the scarecrow, all the details in the back. This is really good. I would 100% vote for it. Alrighty, we got Dan here with, I think, our most amount of likes on this week's Discord review. 125 for this. Um, Dan said a simple submission for this week. Hopefully it does decent. I would say so if you got 125 likes on this. It is, it's like simple in the sense that, um, it looks like they already had their valley really nice and decorated, which is really awesome. Like, I can't wait to do valley tours and I can't wait to head over to Dan's world if they let me, of course, and take a look. But they have Wally right here. Their character has a very cool outfit. And, um, I just love how it looks like they're tending to the garden. Like, they actually managed to do that pretty well. And it looks like, um, if you look close, you can see the rainbow fox, of course. But I actually didn't see the rainbow fox until I was trying to figure out what they were doing to get it to look like they were like nurturing this plant. And uh, it is simple in the sense that it's also not like a million things going on behind it. It's up close photo. And I think they nailed it. The lighting and everything is perfect. Wally looks so cute. They got the little bunny back here. I think it's incredible. Oh my gosh. So we got Molly Tusa here. I see a lot of people saying that brighter pictures are better. Do you think this is too dark? And then they, they changed it a little bit. But let's just focus on this picture. Look how cute this is. We have Wally up here. Again, these like really up close photos are actually doing it for me. I think it's cool. And also look how they're holding the squirrel. It's like the little squirrel is sitting his little his little bum down here on the uh, the table. That is too cute. <laughs> Outfit challenge. Outfits front and center. I can see it. They, it looks like they matched a lot of the tags too. The green and brown and everything. Um, this is a really cool angle. You guys are getting so, so good at creating like very interesting angles with your dream snaps. A lot of us kind of like my picture, it could be seen as more basic because it's just my character in the middle and it's just like a straight shot. But I I think something I want to work towards is getting like capturing some of these incredible angles with the uh, submissions because this is just and this is amazing. We got Ken over here with a very beautiful, bright and very vibrant photo. I love this. They got the little bunny um we have wally right here they just have all the things a beautiful garden all the flowers in the foreground the outfit the character is so close and up front and center i'm in love with it pickled catnip has an incredible submission as well um they oh i forgot about the little tools back here that would have been a great piece for me to put in the background i think part of it already comes with wally's garden but they put some more and then like the little sacks and stuff of soil that would have been great as well 
Up next, we got the Snail Whisperer with a beautiful shot. I love the colors. This is actually a filter I really love, and I was going back and forth between this filter and the one I use because this one really makes Wally -E, like pop. And they included some pumpkins too to like balance out the photo. And then they just have a lot of little goodies here on the side. They got some little torches. Uh, I am happy they didn't do a sunset photo because a lot of times the sunset ones are nice. But I think it would have taken away from all of the colors that they have going on here. So the fact that they left the background with a clear sky, I think it just helps paint the photo. All right, we got Laffy Tafty here with a picture in the glade. Is this the glade? I think it is. And I really like it because they captured Wally fishing. That is too cute. Is this the glade? I don't know. I'm struggling. But I'm happy. Either way, I'm happy that they have a picture of Wally fishing. I didn't even think like that had to have been pretty difficult unless they got super lucky. That had to have been pretty difficult to uh, capture. So they have the garden here, Wally's house. So this is something that you can definitely do, you know, like take a little small little corner of your valley and then just decorate it with a few items and then make sure your character can be seen. And it's it's perfect. Dang, we got Brain over here. Super super happy how it turned out. And a huge shout out to Wally for saving the planet. That's so cute. Whoa, they have the sunset going on over here. But it's again, it's not too much because they did it just right. They have all the trees blocking off right here, which still allows you to see everything that's going on here. As you see with the sunset, how it kind of drowns out some of the uh, background uh, areas and all the colors kind of blur together. So it works perfectly for this photo because it creates that depth as you're going this way. But they drowned this side out with like uh, the trees and stuff. So then you, it's like blocking the sunlight and then you can see everything going on here. So that is perfection. They got stuff in the foreground. You can see the outfit. They're going to place very, very well. We got Cloud Tune here. Kind of just threw this together, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. If that's thrown together, then I would love to see what you could do if you have time to just sit down. Because this is too cute. Like I could see how maybe it's more on the simple side when it comes to like you just don't have a million things there. But I think you've spaced everything out perfectly. Like your picture is framed literally. And then you left the inside where there's not really anything. So you can see your character and the focus like your eyes when you're voting go straight to your character. And then you notice everything around it. We got Wally here. A little path leading up to his house. We got all the flowers. Now nah, this is this is really really good. And then your character that was so smart to use that little like beard. Isn't that a premium shop item? I think it was, but that was very clever. We got piping right here. I told myself I won't go with sunset this time. I won't do a bright light photo. I failed. They didn't go sunset, which is nice because sometimes the sunset is just too much. Like I said, this one you can still see you can still manage a really nice and bright picture without using the sunset and sometimes certain themes work good for sunset which this theme actually does work nice with the sunset but you can also go a different route like this person did and this is what i love to see because they have all the dark colors but it's also bright in certain spots and look how bright the crops are like they nailed it and then their character all the light is on them they chose like a yellow light to illuminate their character which also has like a brown yellow um shade to them and then Vine Lamp, the Scarecrow, we have Wally. This is really creative. And then they got the Vine Walls blocking in their area too to encase all of the light up here while keeping it kind of dark back here. And guys, like I said, there are just so many beautiful submissions. You definitely should join Discord if you haven't already. Like, look at this one. We got Val right here. Beautiful. Their character is pretty. Holy cow. They have a beautiful uh, character. As you can see, they just go on and on. Like, there's so many, so many good submissions here. That if you guys need some inspiration, definitely head over and take a look. And if you guys need help, as always, head over to the Snap Boost tab. We have many Snap mentors that will help you with your submission. So if you're struggling, you can just go ahead and post it over here. And then uh, our Snap mentors will definitely help you out. So don't be afraid. Don't be nervous to head over here. Um, they are extremely, extremely friendly. You can hold us them by their color tags right here. And uh, they will help get your submission looking in a, in a better place that you would like to have it. Or just to get some extra perspective on your photo. But that's it for the video. I appreciate you guys so, so much for watching. I really do. I hope you guys have a really wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next one.